you know it's gonna be a one bite wonder. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Sweet and savory and salty and creamy and tangy. The flavor of that uh, spice mm. mix, mm. that somehow suspended in that chilled, refreshing dahi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the puri just collapsed, unleashing all of those chutneys into your mouth. The oh. mint, the earthy sweetness of the jaggery is quite syrupy. The reason why this chaat is so impressionable in the flavors that it delivers on your palate is because the base layer on that puri is the potato. Mm. So the potato is a perfect, all-embracing sort of ingredient <laughs> that readily assimilates all flavors, all chutneys, all spices. Yeah, it mothers you. Yeah. It mothers you. That's the word. So Mark, we've tasted plenty on this Bengaluru food tour. Oh yes. We've done the biryanis. We've done the tiffin thindi. Yes. We've done some regional specialities, some local gouda food. Oh, but the one yes. thing that we have not done yet is given you a taste of the street food flavors here in the form of chaats. So chaat Excellent. is famous all over the country, but here in Namma Bengaluru, we do it differently. So therefore, we've arrived at Arali Mara Pani Puri. Yes. This is basically a chaat shop that goes back to 1953. Wow. It began in a talagadi as we call it, a push cart. And then it finally worked its way to this little look that faces the Arali Mara. Ah, okay. The tree, and okay. that's why it's called the Arili Mara Pani Puri ah. stall. This is Puni. Oh. So he's a third generation. Mr. Kumar wow. is a second generation. And in the grandfather name? Uchapa. Mr. Uchapa. I think that's his picture right. up there. Very cool. And he's the one who began this tradition. We've arrived when the store just about starts getting customers. But after a while, you'll see a sea of people out here nice. waiting patiently nice. for their favorite chart plate. Nice. This is Mr. Kumar. Oh, hello. He's the second generation oh. of the family. Nice to meet you. What time do you do? 35 years. So, 35 years, he's been tossing chart. Wow, 35 years. 35 years. So he's That's an incredible. expert. And also if you watch the manner in which he makes quick work. Yes. Of bringing those. He knows what he's doing. Scrumptious delicacies to life. We're in good hands. We are in good hands. So in start mode now. Yeah, starting. So palate stimulate agli ke in kodi. I told him give us something to stimulate a palate. Ah, dahi puri kodi. Sulpa khatta mita. The puri is gone, the puri has some potatoes in that. Some potato is there. Light Kadle puri. Kadle puri. A little, puri the chutney a little bit of the puffed rice. Oh, nice. And okay. also a little bit of the seasoning along with that. Beautiful. So I think there's some chili in that, some, some salt chili. in that. This is the green chutney. Oh, wow. So that this goes is basically inside. usually a combination of some mint. That is a sweet chutney, which is okay. usually dates. Wow, okay. Oh, and now filled with yogurt. Yes. You've got that yogurt. Oh, That's wow. That's right. And then some salt that goes on, some red chilies. That's a cumin powder. And a little bit of the save. Yeah. This is a gram flour fritter. So we're starting off with dahi puri. This is uh, yes. one of the great chats uh, that I've especially had in North India, actually, uh, as you mentioned. And dahi puri, the yogurt stuffed into the puris with that, all those different chutneys with the, the chev on top. You know it's gonna be a one bite wonder. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Sweet and savory and salty and creamy and tangy. The flavor of that uh, spice mm. mix Mm. That somehow suspended in that chilled, refreshing dahi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the puri just collapsed, unleashing all of those chutneys into your mouth. Delicious. The sweet, really, the sour, really good. The tang. Yeah. That sprinkle of chili and cumin on the top. Oh, wow. I need to have another one. You've got to have another one and another one, Mark. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the quality of a good chart. Mm. 
I think chaat is one of the great afternoon mm. traditions of India. It's just it is. a few things can just make your taste buds happy in the afternoon like a plate of chaat. I think this chaat has a perfect balance of everything, right? It's really, really good. Be it that light crunch of that puri, the bite of the yeah. save, that soft creaminess of the potatoes mm -hmm. that basically hold that puri from within. Yes. Yeah, it does. And the manner in which the chutneys work together, right? The slightly sweet warm date chutney. Go for this one mm. too, Mark. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Delicious. You know, in my books, a good chart is a chart that compels you to return for another plate of chart. Without a doubt. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. to that effect, this Dahi Puri has done its job. Successful. Absolutely. Let's, let's meet Kumar let's have again. have another one. We've eaten the cold yogurt. Let's have some hot masala. Okay. Oh, 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 it just gets this drenched. This is the masale. Drenched in the masale. It's like a masala gravy almost. That's right, it's a gravy. You know, his logic is also very simple, Mark. He just wants to do four or five things. And he wants to serve you dishes that are very different in flavor. He doesn't mm. want to do ten things which, which overlap in flavors. So Mark, this is the masal puri. Masal puri, yeah, okay. Which is a signature chart of Bengaluru of Karnataka. You oh, won't cool. find this anywhere oh, cool. else. And that's especially that gravy, right? Is the, the special part of it. His special blend of spices, masala in that gravy that goes over the top of broken puris. That's with right. With some of those boiling peas. Finishes it off with onions, some of the chutneys, and the crispy shell. Again, this warm masala gravy caresses the back of your throat. Mm, the peas, yeah, the crispiness, all the different textures. The crunch is, of the onions. That's so good. This is a chart that feels very wholesome. It feels very comforting. Yeah. After you've tasted a couple of spoons of this masal puri, mm -hmm. and you just allow for the vapor of that masal puri to linger in your mouth, now you can also taste some of the aromats in that. The sweetness of the fennel, are you getting some of that? I am, I am. The starchiness of the peas. Yeah. The length that comes from perhaps some cloves and pepper in the masale. There are about 20 ingredients that go oh, into it, man. I can't stop. Mm. Once you start, you won't stop. What also helps is the fact that these plates are very manageable, very small. It doesn't seem like too big a task to finish it and especially because yep. it's as tasty as this. It's very manageable. And I must tell our viewers who are watching on Mark's channel and Food Lovers TV as well that we are doing this tasting on the back of a big biryani trail. Uh-huh. But there's none of that tiredness. We've been eating since 4 a.m. in the morning. And we in have. the manner of speaking, this chart has awakened it has. our taste buds, taking it, it in a different direction altogether, right? Again, chats like rejuvenate. Mm. They give you that afternoon boost, like a caffeine, except masala. Yeah. It's a, that masala punch. Fantastic. Yeah. So I think on that note, we should head for the third chart. Let's do it. That's the special oh. chutney. That is the flattened rice. Flattened rice, Spiced potatoes, potatoes, sev, onion. Puffed rice, rice goes in. Like a hand blender. Everything's perfectly coated. Oh, and onto the plate so fast. It's like a snow cone almost. That's right. Man, his hand mixing skills, that's 35 years of experience. He does it with his eyes closed. That's and right. he just scoops it out onto your plate. Like, if you blink, he'll finish your chat and it will be on the plate already. Speed is very important when they work here. So he'll have 50 customers standing in front of him waiting for their plate of chat. So he can't afford to linger all day on oh, your yeah. chart. Although he works very fast, he works very delicately on it. Because even when oh, he's yeah. mixing this puffed rice, oh. he's not crushing it. Oh no, he knows the exact recipes by heart. That's right. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, that's just mellow and soothing. Like the masalas are not that strong. It's just this hint of sweet, sour tartness with all those different crunchies. Wait for a few moments longer, Mark. The flavor starts building? Yes, the flavor starts building and the warmth will start whispering a hello. <laughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> are you doing well? Oh, yeah. The mm -hmm. warmth of the biyadagi. Oh, you know because of the, the Rice Krispies, they absorb all of that flavor. Mm. And they're sort of like little time-release bubbles. So as you salivate on them, they start to release their flavor finish. Oh, yeah. The chili heat is sort of starting to build a little bit. At the very back. I shouldn't have underestimated you. That's, again, outstanding. So a belpuri also typically means a mishmash mm, of mm. sorts, right? And that's what this is. When you talk about textures, it's got crunch, but crunch of so many different levels. You've got that soft crunch of the puffed rice. You've got the save, which is a little more brittle in the manner that you bite on it. You've got the onions, which are moist mm. in their crunch. So even when you say crunch, you can actually define at least five or six levels of crunch within this one plate. Even of peanuts pudding. in there. I got some peanuts in there. That's as well. right. Mm -hmm. So the peanuts come from the flattened rice. Oh, okay. You saw okay. the mix. Yeah, that yeah, you yeah. Put when you toss that in, yeah. Yet again, another absolutely tasty chat. Mm. Oh, good. there's a potato. Delicious. Again, different textures, different flavors as the last two we've tried. When it comes to chaat mark, every chaat has a role to play. For example, dahi puri, I think its role was purely to stimulate or to wet your palate. The masala puri was a little more substantial. But if you're feeling like doing a chaat which could be a substitute for a light supper, I think that's where something as fortifying as this bel puri comes in. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Right? So yeah. chaat can also be very close to a light supper. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially when you make them ad as addictive as he does. Yes. And you can't stop at one. That's right. I think one of the great things is that it's up to you That's when you right. eat chat, you know? It's whatever you're feeling for of that day. That's right. And right now, Mark, I'm feeling like the safe puri. <laughs> I know too. we said we'd go for the pani puri, <laughs> but let's do the safe puri. And then the pani puri. Finish with a flourish with let's the pani puri. Shall we? I feel like it too. Fantastic. So Wait. next, say no, say for try, Madana. Yes, say for it, sir. Some potatoes on that, Mark. Okay, onions go on to each. Little bit of the green chutney. Other lane in there, mint, coriander. Mint so cascas, eh? Jiri. Jiri, there's some cumin, poppy seeds in that too. The sweet chutney. So that is basically the date, dry ginger. Bella, you're ready, Sulpa? Sakra, Jastina. There's some jaggery and sugar in that sweet chutney too. That is the save that completes the plate of save wow. puri, Mark. The plate is covered. That's right. Mmm. Mm. That's a mouthful. And you immediately taste the sweetness on this because of that sweet chutney that you had with the jaggery. The oh. mint, the earthy sweetness of the jaggery is quite syrupy in its texture. It is. And what's interesting here, Mark, the reason why this chaat is so impressionable in the flavors that it delivers on your palate is because the base layer on that puri is the potato. Mm. So the potato is a perfect, all-embracing sort of ingredient <laughs> that readily assimilates all flavors, all chutneys, all spices. Yeah, it mothers you. Yeah. It mothers you. That's the word. Another hit. Can you also somewhere in that taste the warmth of the dry ginger? Mmm. Oh yeah. That's an integral part of the short chutney, the date chutney. Okay. I think we should now close with a nice digestive sort of a chart, which is what the pani puri usually is. Oh. People come, they have two or three other charts, and then somehow they feel that the pani puri will forgive them, will redeem all their <laughs> indulgences, all their excesses. <laughs> chart outings. <laughs> and I would also say that Pani Puri has always been one of my favorite chats in India. From my first trip to India, when I first tasted it, I just absolutely fell in love.
chickpeas, the masale, and the onions. So in this one, there's no potatoes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's different from most. That's right. I've had. Okay. Dunk into the the pea mixture, and then a dunk into the pani. The pani, the water, the spiced water. So one of the things, yeah, you have to eat it fast before that liquid collapses your puri. Oh, take it to your mouth. Mm. Oh. oh man. It suddenly feels like something that will help work all the other charts that we've tasted a little further down our tummy. That pani, that water liquid is just incredible. So tart, so salty and so herbaceous. And then it collapses the puri. It's eating and drinking at the same time. Mm. Mm. And the way to finish Mark usually, mm -hmm. pardon me, with a nice big slurp. You don't want any of that to go to waste. That's right, that just seals the deal. You're locked and loaded, ready to go home. Oh. Gently digesting and feeling so happy. That's right. No, but I've always been a bad fan of Pani Puri. I love how it's just mixing something crunchy with liquid. It totally just blows your mind with the flavor. That's right. And as that puri just collapses in your mouth, the liquid just overwhelms you with flavor. And the peas, I really like the peas in there. And that, that masala sauce that you can taste, all those different spices that he whipped up into your puri, dunked in the pani. Fantastic. So did you enjoy your chart outing? Outstanding. Yeah? Every one of them had its own profile and so good. Yeah, Fantastic. so good, so good. Well, that's it for this chart outing with a very special guest, Mark Weens. We enjoyed it. We hope yes. you enjoyed watching us too. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. Eating. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!